Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for the Game Boy. And of course, this will also be found on GameAnyone.com. Yeah, this game I think was made in 1994, and of course this is based on the power, I mean, the popular TV show back in the day, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I did a Super Nintendo version, and I think I'm going to do the Game Boy version this time. And like the Super Nintendo version, you can actually switch which character you want to be to start a level. I think we'll go with Kimberly this time, the Pink Ranger. Yep, apparently every ranger looks the same in this. Like, even the pink and yellow rangers look muscular compared to the red ranger. And there's only five levels in all, like, it's basically the same stuff over and over, like, side-scrolling platformer to an extent. And you just punch the piss out of pipes. Look at that cat over there! Alright, I grab a little bit of invincibility. It won't last too long, though. You'll know it wears off when you stop flashing. So yeah, there's five levels in all, so you can pretty much choose between like one ranger for each level, if you wanted. It's entirely up to you. And every level has a boss. You have to fight the boss in the Megazord. More on that later, once you get there of course. But yeah, depending on what ranger you pick, the color of the level itself will actually be connected to that ranger. Like, if I was a black ranger, this would not look pink. It would look black. And that's true. I think it has something to do with the Super Game Boy settings, or if it's for the Game Boy Color. I don't know. Anyway, I'm pretty close to dying. I better be careful. Oh good, I got to the end of the level. Then I get the Megazor, and I take on the boss. It's a pretty cool looking animation, showing that you can actually get the Megazor by combining the five Dinosaurs. Unfortunately, you can't skip that animation. Alright, time for the first boss, which is Squat. He's basically one of those flunkies on the, on the show. He wasn't really one that fights a lot. But he does get a role in this game, which is nice. Just that he's a total pushover in every sense of the world. Well, actually, he's not a pushover because nobody really expects him to be a challenge. It's just annoying when he uses that fireball, because you gotta jump over him and you don't really get a chance to attack. Unless you're really close, that is. Then attack away. Unfortunately, the Megazord can only slash and kick. That's his only attacks at all. Like, you can't shoot or anything, so just... It's pretty much like Ultraman for the Super Nintendo. Just trading shots and win. And after every boss, you get a bonus stage. In this stage, I gotta take out as many fireballs as possible. You don't have to do this, but it's good for points. If you really care about points that much. Which I don't, but I like to try. I mean, at least show off a little bit. Yeah, you're gonna face like different kinds of bonus stages for each level. Some of them are easy, some of them are piss hard. Not this one, of course. I got 30 out of 30. And you get a password after the end of each level. Just in case you got a game over or decide to quit the game. And you can just try again. I'll go with Zack this time. Even though he looks like Mike Tyson in his character portrait. And as you can see, it looks black instead of pink from the first level. But yeah, these are the only enemies you face, basically. You might face, like, other types of enemies, but it's very rare that you do. Oh good, I got some health. I find this level a bit annoying, because you got like jumping to do, and you gotta watch out some putties either way. And health can be scarce. You just gotta watch out for the putties that actually unleash boulders from the sky. Look at the sky, where did the boulders come from? It makes no sense, but then again, it's video games, how can it make sense? You can't expect video games to be absolutely realistic even back in the day. You can't do it, it's impossible. But yeah, this game was actually a lot of fun. I remember playing this for the first time this summer of last year. I believe I streamed it. It was a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers marathon, let me tell ya. Thank god I had a day off from work the next day because if I had to go to work after streaming for six and a half hours, I never got to bed till like 3 o'clock. 
<laughs> I would be a mess. I'd be an absolute wreck. There's be no way you can function on that much lack of sleep. It's hard to do. Come on, Zack. You have to resort to dancing or something. Just do something. And once again, we got to see this colorful animation of the Megazord forming. Like, do you remember the scene, Silent Anything, you hear on the, on the show? I don't think so. Either way, here's a second boss, King Sphinx. This one has a different pattern, and he likes to cause a flame to shoot up from the ground. You gotta jump over him. But he mostly likes to fly, therefore he's wide open. You always be careful and keep kicking him in the kneecaps, pretty much. When you see him forming, just be sure to jump. Man, I got hit three times in a row because I'm a dumbass. Pretty soon he's going to change his pattern. Ah, oh, in the back, I don't care. Okay, now bouncing boulders, as if that made any sense. And he's going to pretty much do the same thing. And I walk into his back because, once again, I'm a dumbass. But yeah, this boss is quite easy, but I mean, they're all pretty easy once you understand their patterns. I'll kick him in the face. Yeah. There. That takes care of boss number two. Level two clear. Alright, let's see what bonus stage this is. Well, of course, it would have something to do with rocks. Usually, depending on what boss you fight, alters the bonus stage you're gonna have. Most of the time. Now, when fighting squat, then you're using fireballs, so it's mostly fireballs that you deal with in bonus stage. And in this stage, King Sphinx was throwing boulders, the bonus stage has something to do with boulders. And I'm not doing too good at this one. Alright, I think this is a better position, just staying right here. Yep, 26 out of 30. I mean, that's 86%. Okay, time for level 3. What am I going to do this one as? Um, I think Billy should get this one. Why does this character portrait look like 20-year-old Larry King? Okay, this looks like the industrial zone. Lots of spikes. Be careful, there's plenty of blind jumps, too. Like that, see? I'm gonna try this again. Hopefully I land on the platform. There we go. Hey, who thought putting spikes there was a good idea, really? Like, what kind of factory functions like this? Ow. My head. My head hurts when it's impaled with spikes, thank you. Finally, a rare enemy that's not a putty thought, oh, damn it. I'm gonna climb up here again, are you serious? Some of these jumps are just hard. You just gotta make sure you jump when you're pretty much like several inches still left. So apparently Billy would even like a, even a tiny inch left, he could still stand on the platform. Watch! Okay, well, that's pretty much as far as we can go. You know, that spikes don't hurt you that badly. Which is a nice novelty. Unless you're a man or anything. Like, oh, well, again, the Power Rangers survive spikes. I can never understand that. And why are the guys throwing tampons at me? Ow. Idiot. Okay, that was a blind jump. You can't hold ducks to tell where they're gonna go. How were you supposed to know? See, I hit spikes like four or five times in a row now. Why oh, don't I hit spikes again? Oh, okay, I got lucky. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I really need better footwear. Tell Zordon I, I need some tougher boots. Spike proof ones, too. Okay, time for the third boss, it's Babu. I was had a hard time telling if he was a guy or a girl. I'm gonna go and say unknown. Because he's very weird looking. I think he's like a monkey-like character, half human, half alien, half monkey, like, and he always had three things. Yeah, I'm special like that. And watch out, he's got thunder beams too. Watch out. 
Yep, that was a bit redundant, what I just said, I know. But yeah, just, just make sure you walk under him and do not get hit by the thunder beams. He usually fires off three in a row and then he's jumping again. It can get hard to calculate between like mini jumps and big jumps, but you'll get the hang of it in time. Alright, level 3 clear. Alright, bonus stage. Um, that's gonna have to wait for the next video. I'm out of time. See you later.